please subscribe if you like to, like if you like to, stick around if you want to. All in all, I am very appreciated. Now, listen to this. Know what company you keep. Know what doctor you go to. Uh, know everything about who you associate with. A former Sacramento Kings guard has been sentenced to 10 years in prison and $5 million fraud case and a $5 million NBA fraud case. Okay. A former member of the Sacramento Kings is going to prison for masterminding a scheme to steal $5 million from the NBA's health care plan. A federal judge in Manhattan on Thursday sentenced Terrence Williams to 10 years after he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit health care and wire fraud and aggravated identity theft. Prosecutors said Williams orchestrated a wide-range scheme to steal millions of dollars from NBA players' health and welfare benefit plan. According to the indictment, public court filings, and statements made in court, Williams conspired with others to submit fraudulent claims to kickback payments in excess of $300,000 and threatened a witness after he was arrested. Williams recruited, and I'll say this in quote, in quote, listen carefully, listen. Williams recruited medical professionals and others to expand his criminal conspiracy and maximize his ill-gotten gains. And when I say that, um, I'm going to go into something else that I have a passion for and that I hope a lot of lawyers do too, but I'm not going to share that just yet because I have to make for sure what I'm sharing is legally okay. So just keep that in mind because I think people need this type of information to be protected because everything does, is not what it seems, okay? When you look at something and you think, that's it, I'm safe, it might not be. Be careful. So I'll say his quotes again. Williams recruited medical professionals and others to expand his criminal conspiracy and maximize his ill-gotten gains, said Duncan Williams, a U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Williams not only lined his pockets through fraud and deceit, but he also stole the identities of others and threatened a witness to further his criminal endeavors. And he recruited medical professionals. Terrence Williams, a native of Seattle, came out of Louisiana, Louisville, Louisiana. That doesn't, <laughs> I don't know why I get them confused. <laughs> Louisville, Louisville, L-O-U-I-S-V-I-L-L-E, as the number 11 pick in the 2009 NBA draft. That was the year the Keens selected Tyreek Evans with the number four pick, and the Golden State Warriors took Stephen Curry at number seven. Williams spent four seasons in the NBA with New Jersey Nets, Houston Rockets, Kings, and Boston Celtics. Four seasons. He got a triple-double with 27 points, 13 rebounds, 10 assists for the Nets, and a double overtime win of the Chicago Bulls on April 9th, 2010. That was a nice year. Williams signed a 10-day. When I wait with Woda, that was a nice year for me. I, I thought that was a nice year. I remember everything was alive, green, beautiful. My mother was here. Williams signed a 10-day contract with the Kings after being released by the Rockets in March 2012. The Kings then signed Williams for the remainder of the season. So he has a quite a big history in uh, NBA. According to authorities, Williams and more than a dozen others, including medical professionals, conspired from at least 2017 to 2021 to defraud the NBA's health care plan using false invoices to support fraudulent claims. Good luck. Williams and his co-conspirators submitted false claims totaling more than $5 million. His co-conspirators, including a dentist, yes, you heard right, his co-conspirators, <laughs> co-conspirators, including a dentist in California, and doctors, yes, you heard right, and doctors in California and Washington, I wonder if they're ever going to let us see, like, open up to see those records at the public's allowed. I don't even think the public's allowed. Prosecutor said Williams threatened co-defendants and witnesses. In April of 22, after Williams was arrested and released while awaiting a trial, he, just, he sent a text message 
telling a witness he was taking two F dot dot I N G much and to shut the F dot 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 up. In addition to his prison term, Williams was sentenced to three years of supervised release. He was also ordered to forfeit $653,000, 600. I mean, I'm not a, I got to get here. <laughs> Come on, focus. He was ordered to forfeit $653,000 and pay restitution in the amount of $2.5 million. Wow. What is our world coming to? You just don't know when you look in the face of someone what they're all about nowadays. Right, folks? Anywhere you go, any person you meet, whatever filth they're in, you just know you have to be safe at all turns. So this is truly a sad story. Very sad. And I think a thief is a thief. But when uh, people come into play who are the ones that, not not every doctor, not every dentist, but when people with professions, they have professions that are supposed to help help the most vulnerable, and they come into play to take a payment without any kind of, any afterthought of that oath about do no harm. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking about do some green. Okay? (laughs) It ain't the green we're thinking of. It's the green from the machine, the ATM. So anyway, everyone, I do thank you for coming by and uh, taking the time out to listen to this channel. And uh, until we get something next time, until another video, gosh, I hope it can be something very positive, perhaps, that we can, uh, too much, nowadays people think, oh, the news just reports negative. And that. No, it's the world. That's the world today. It's just, uh, we're in, we're in a bad environment, unfortunately. Okay, so thanks for watching. Until next time.